हे गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन क्लास होप यू हैव इन्जॉयड एंड स्पेंड योर वीक एंड नाइसली एंड यू हैव कम्प्लीटेड ऑल द असाइनमेंट्स ऑफ अदर सब्जेक्ट्स एंड इंग्लिश टू ओके सो एज यू नो दैट लास्ट वीक प्रीवियस वीक वी हैव फिनिश्ड आर एन सी आर टी बुक चैप्टर दैट वॉज तारोज रिवॉर्ड एंड एंड एडजेक्टिव कंपेरिजन फ्रॉम योर इंग्लिश ग्रामर बुक सो टुडे वी आर हियर विद न्यू पार्थ फेस बुक दैट इज यूनिट वन सेक्शन टू एंड इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ चैप्टर दैट इज हाउ आई टॉट माई ग्रैंड मदर टू रीड इट इज अबाउट यंग इट इज अबाउट अ ग्रैंड मदर ग्रैंड मदर्स डिटर्मिनेशन मेक्स अ यंग गर्ल टीच हर हाउ टू रीड मीन्स बाई लुकिंग हर by looking grandmother's dedication about how to read a young girl decided to teach her okay so this story is written by sudha murti okay and how she helped her grandmother to read okay now we'll see uh, with the chapter we'll read the chapter and we'll make ourselves understand let's see when i was a girl of about 12 I used to stay in village in North Karnataka with my grandparents. Those days the transport system was not very good, so we used to get the morning paper only in the afternoon. The weekly magazine used to come one day late. All of us would wait eagerly for the bus which used to come with the papers, weekly magazines and the post. When Sudha Murthy was about 12 Uh, she used to stay in village in north karnataka with the, uh, her grandparents and those days the transport facility was not very good like today so they get the morning papers only in the afternoon and they get the weekly magazine uh, one day late so uh, they eagerly wait for the uh, bus through which uh, papers weekly magazines and the post used to come At that time Triveni was very popular writer in the Kannada language she used uh, she was a wonderful writer at that time Triveni was a Kannada writer uh, means uh, she used to write in Kannada language and she was a wonderful writer her style was easy to read and was very convincing means her uh, style of writing was very easy was very easy to understand what she wants to convey with the story or whatever her stories usually deal with the complex psychological problem in the lives of ordinary people yeah her stories deal with the uh, the problems the or, uh, ordinary problems which lives in the ordinary peoples okay and they are always um, interesting unfortunately for kannada literature she died very young even now after 40 years people continue to appreciate her novels one of her novels called kashi yatra was appearing as a serial in kannada weekly karmavira a novel one of her novel was kashi yatra which used to come in kannada language uh, in a form of a serial uh, and um, it is the story of an old lady means in that uh, kashi yatra uh, that was a uh, karma veera that was the name of karn veera serial okay and uh, the kashi yatra uh, was the novel which uh, means her story her character was uh, shown in a serial kannada weekly and uh, that was karma veera it is an story about it is a story about an old lady uh, who uh who's and her ardent desire to go to kashi or varanasi means it was the story about uh, an old uh, woman who wanted to visit kashi okay who wanted to wish uh, wish uh, visit kashi or varanasi as most hindus believe that going to kashi and worshiping lord vishveshwara is the ultimate punya means a good thing was to visit kashi and worship this Lord Vishveshwara. That was the ultimate thing. This old lady also believed in this, and her struggle to go there was uh, described in that novel. And in this story, there was also a young orphan girl who falls in love. 
but there was no money for the wedding in the end the old lady gives away all her savings without going to kashi when she helped that girl the orphan girl who fallen in love and she made uh, means uh, possible her to marry okay she says the happiness of this orphan girl is more important than worshiping lord vishveshwara at kashi she was unable to visit kashi because she has given all her savings to that orphan girl to get married for her wedding okay so um, when she was not means when she was giving that uh, help she told that uh, means by helping this orphan girl uh, by looking her happiness is more important than to visit kashi and she has given that money to her and uh, made her to marry and uh, means for her wedding my grandmother krist uh, kristaka uh, never went to school so she could not read means my grandmother shudha murthy's grandmother kristaka she never gone to school and she was not able to read every wednesday day the magazine would come and i would read the next episode of this story to her means that was means in that weekly magazine that uh, uh, triveni's story that was uh, kashi yatra used to come in that magazine and uh, shudha murthy used to read that story every episode for her and um, because she was not able to read by herself so shudha murthy used to read the story and tell her whatever the things what and uh, such and such things is happening in the story during that time she would uh, she would forget all her work and listen with the greatest concentration means uh, during that time while listening this story she uh, left uh, she left all the works and she quite uh, means in concentrated to that story and she listened that later she could repeat the entire uh, text by heart my grandmother too never went to kashi and she identified herself with the novel's protagonist what is this protagonist it is the main character means she, she hasn't went to the kashi but she could realize uh, means the feel uh, the, she could feel that uh, whenever we are watching a movie we used to leave that character right we used that we are in the part of that movie or we are the hero or heroines whatever and we used to act like that so like uh, by listening that story which was told by sudha murthy um, the grandmother her grandmother used to uh, means act like that she feels uh, she uh, lives in that character okay so more than anybody else she was the more she was the one of most interested in knowing what happened next in the story and used to insist that i read the serial out to her when she uh, made her grand uh, daughter to read the story for her because she was quite interested and because she was not able to read so she used to say sudha murthy that please read it for me and i wanted to know what had happened in next in the story after hearing what happened next in kashi yatra she would join her friends at the temple courtyard where we children would also gather to play hide and seek you know you must have played this uh, hide and seek even now also uh, we are playing so after hearing the story she used to visit the temple courtyard and in which her means uh, grandmother uh, friend used to gather there and they discuss about this kashi yatra where shudha murthy and her friends also play uh, in that courtyard one hide and seek she would discuss the latest episode with her friends at that time i never understood why there were so much uh, of debate about the story when so uh, when uh, the, uh, the grandmother kashuda murthy's grandmother um, means gathered there and she used to tell the recent the uh, the latest episode of that kashi yatra and they used to debate and shudha murthy was not able to understand why this debate is going on about the story once i went for a wedding with my cousins to the neighboring village in those days a wedding was a great event Uh, we children enjoyed ourselves thoroughly we would eat and play endlessly souring the freedom uh, 
because all the elders were busy. I went for a couple of days but ended up staying there for a week. Means once Sudha Murthy had went to uh, with uh, had gone to uh, had gone to a neighbor's uh, uh, some wedding party and all, and she had went with uh, um, her grandmother. They uh, they means the children were used to. Uh, uh, play and eat whatever the things they wanted and they feel the freedoms too because elders were quite busy in talking and whatever the things they were doing so the children were quite free to enjoy when i came back to my village i saw my grandmother in tears i was surprised for uh, i had never seen her cry even in the most difficult situations what had happened i was worried Means when they came back from that wedding, uh, Shudha Murthy seen that my grandmother is uh, in tears. Means she was surprised that even in the worst situation also she never used to cry. Then what had happened to her? Why she is crying now? She wanted to know and she was worried too about her grandmother. Ava, is everything all right? Are you okay? I used to call her Ava. Means, uh, what is this Ava? Means, uh, in a very loving way, uh, she used to call her grandmother Ava. Which means mother in Kannada, spoken in North Karnataka. Yeah, Ava means, uh, uh, means mother uh, in Kannada language. She nodded but did not reply. She nodded, she made a uh, sign with the uh, moving head that nothing, but she didn't reply. I did not understand and forgot about it. In the night after dinner, we were sleeping in the open terrace of the house. It was a summer night and there was a full moon. Ava came and sat next to me. Her affectionate hand touched my forehead. I realized she wanted to speak. I asked her, what is the matter? When she tried to know that what happened to my grandmother, why she is in tears, after that she forgot about it. But when they were all in the on the terrace, they were sleeping under the sky on the terrace, okay, of the house in summer night. Um, Abba came to Sudha Murti and she uh, means uh, she put her uh, hand, affectionate hand, uh, on uh, Sudha Murti's forehead. And there Shuddha Murthy realized what? She realized that my grandmother wanted to speak and she asked her what had happened. What is the matter? When I was a young girl, I lost my mother. There was nobody to look after and guide me. My father was a busy man and got married again. In those days, people never considered education essential for girls. So I never went to school. I got married very young and had children. I became very busy. Later I had grandchildren and I always felt so much happiness in cooking and feeding all of you. At times I used to regret not going to school. So I made sure that my children and grandchildren studied well. So now the grandmother is telling her story. Okay. That what she wanted she told about why she was crying she told about that when she was young she lost her mother and her father again got married to another woman and that time uh, education of girl was not so important so she was also got married in a very young age okay you know uh, earlier um, girls used to get married even at the age of 10, 12 or even uh, they are in childhood also. Okay, you won't believe this but yes, uh, the girls used to get married even in childhood. Okay, so like that uh, she also got married at her young age and she got very busy in her life. She had uh, children and after that she got grandchildren also and she was quite happy in feeding and um, uh, help me feeding and enjoying with their companies. And after that also she regret that why she haven't studied, why she uh, didn't uh, go to the school. She was quite regretting that so that she makes sure uh, that her children and grandchildren would receive a very good education.
I could not understand why my sixty-two year old grandmother was telling me. Now Sudha Murthy was quite confused that my grandmother is of uh, why she is telling me this all the things. A twelve-year-old girl, the story of her life in the middle of the night. But I knew I loved her immensely, and there had to be some reason why she was talking to me. When she was quite confused that why this uh, old woman, my grandmother, is telling me because I am quite young to understand her problem, but she also knew that she loved her too much and uh, there must be a reason. So my grandmother is telling her story. I looked at her face; it was unhappy, and her eyes were filled with tears. She was a good-looking lady who was usually always smiling. Even today, I cannot forget the word, the worried expression on her face. I leaned forward and held her hand. Ava, don't cry. What is the matter? Now, uh, this uh, girl is asking to her grandmother what had happened, Ava. Why you are crying? Please don't cry. Yes, can I help you in any way? Okay, now please tell me what is the matter. Can I help you to make you out with this situation? Ava replied. The grandmother replied, "Yes, I need your help. You know, when you were away, Karma Veera came as usual. I opened the magazine." I saw the picture that accompanies the story of Kashi Yatra, and I could not understand anything that was written. Many times I rubbed my hands over the pages, wishing they could understand what was written. Means, when she had gone to uh, that neighboring village uh, for the wedding marriage party, and she uh, go had gone for couple of days, for two days, but she returned after a week. so that made grandmother quite uh, means worried quite i uh, mean uh, she was quite dedicated to that story right so she was quite worried about how to read when she was not there uh, she was not there uh, sudha murthy was not there she when the magazine came she used to um, rub the hands over the letters but she could not read she had seen some of the pictures of that episodes of kashi yatra but she were not able she was not able to understand things because she hasn't um, read all the things she hasn't read in the ch her childhood so that was very difficult her to uh, understand because sudha murthy was not there so she explained that she used to read the story she rubbed the hands over the uh, story but she were not able to understand what is written there but i knew it was not possible if only i was educated enough means uh, if she had been uh, means uh, if she had learned something if she had went to the schools then it uh, means she wouldn't have uh, faced the such a problem right she wouldn't uh, have uh, face such a problem so she told that it would be possible if i was educated i waited eagerly for you to return i felt you would come early and read for me i even thought of going to the village and asking you to read for me i could have asked somebody in the village but i was too embarrassed to do so she told that i wanted to come to you i wanted to let you read the story for me i wanted to go and uh, to you and tell you to read the story but and even i could tell anyone in the village to read the story for me but that was too embarrassing i felt so very dependent and helpless i was dependent on you and i could feel that i was helpless we are well off but what use is money when i cannot be independent we are good we have so much money but that what is the need of that money when i am not able to do anything i could feel helpless she was in she was not independent she was dependent on that sudha murthy to uh, read the story so she felt that she was not independent and she felt embarrassing to 
to tell anyone to read the story to her. I did not know what to answer. Abba continued. Now Shuddha Murthy was still confused that why Abba is telling this to me. And Abba continued. I have decided I want to learn Kannada alphabets from tomorrow onwards. Now the actual point came that the grandmother wanted to learn Kannada alphabets. I will work very hard. I will keep Saraswati Puja day during the Shara. The Shara as the deadline, the day I should be able to read a novel on my own. I want to be independent. Now, her grandmother told her that I want to learn Kannada language, Kannada alphabets, and I will work really hard and I will keep Saraswati Puja every day. And during the Shara, up to the time the Shara, I would try my best to learn the Kannada alphabets. And I will be able to read the novel by on my own. I want to be independent. This was the words. This was the sentence came from grandmother to Sudhamurti. Now Sudhamurti was exclaimed. I saw the determination on her face. Yet I laughed at her. I saw the dedication, the determination, what she wanted. I really appreciated that, but at the same moment, I loved her too. Ava, at this age of 62, you want to learn the alphabets? All your hair is grey, your hands are wrinkled, you wear spectacles, and you work so much in the kitchen? Childishly, I made fun of the old lady, but she just smiled. Means when she spoke this to me, I uh, burst into laugh and I uh, kept laughing at her. And I told that your hairs are turned grey, your hands are wrinkled, you wear spectacles and at the age of 62 you just want to learn the alphabets. And uh, Sudha Murti was smiling. So this is all about today. Tomorrow we are going to see what next happened. Okay. So this is all about today. Uh, I will suggest you please go through the video. Okay. And go through the uh, book uh, chapters also. Read the chapter well and make yourself understand. Okay. So have a nice day to all.